okay, um, we just went through uh, the resolve object, um, the on extension response function, the event handler, when we respond to the server's extension. And basically this if statement executes if it was a get data command. And if it's a get data command, basically we've asked the MySQL server for data about our avatars, and then we've done a few things based on that um, data, right? Um, but sometimes what we're doing is we're going to change our avatars. Let's say we already have our ad avatar um, uh, configured with new hair and eyes and everything, and then we want to change it again. In that case, then we're just updating the data on the MySQL database. So I want to change my hair color from blue to brown, right? Well, now I need to update the data. So the data went up to the server, updated the MySQL server, and then now um, we need to um, have some out the the response comes from the server and so I said here my debug dot text plus equal updating user data to let me know that you know the user data was just updated and output that to my t dynamic text box on the stage so that I I could debug that and say yeah hey that worked you know I just tried to update my hair from red to blue and it worked because I got this output right back from the server so I can comment that out now and um, and then all I did here was, you can see, I just did some more debugging stuff um, to uh, make sure to see, you know, if it worked, to see, you know, what happened. And now I can comment all that out. Okay. Else if the command was add data, so if we added data, it comes back. Nothing going on here. I just delete the um, uh, resolve object command. Nothing else I need to do. The data was added to the database. Um, and then there's the delete data, and I didn't change anything there either. So that was all um, there. Now we've gotten to the end. No, almost the end. Um, Here's a function that was called a couple of times up above called get data. You'll see very simply this function get data inside of it is a smartfox.sendxt message, send an extension message, get data. That's it. It's just a way of making it smaller. So instead of putting this in the in the function as above, I could just put a smaller just get data. So sometimes up up in the above code I, I called it with this and then sometimes I just put the whole line of code in there like that. So you'll see it both ways up there. Um, kind of sloppy. <laughs> um, then um, here's a function for add a record which will add a record to the uh, database and um, you'll see here that uh, I set new user to false um, because um, we're going to add the record so the new user is true. It's going to be a new user, but once we add the record, we need to change it back to false, basically. Right, so I, t I change this new user variable switch back to false because we're going to, we're, it'll no longer be a new user. Okay, the username equals global my name, and then uh, var req uh, is going to be an object with uh, basically that has a uh, an object data in um, uh, curly braces here, and and then this object is going to well this these curly braces will hold um, properties for the object. So um, rec require uh, req dot username equals the username, req dot hair equals the hair, the head, the eyes, that kind of stuff, and then send extension message, add data. And the question is, well, where if required hair equals the hair, what is that equal to? Well, we'll look down here. You'll see here that I made some variables for the hair, the head, the eyes. I just made them here, right? Even the username. So I set up the variables and I put them on the main timeline so we have access to them in all the functions. And then this last function which is an event handler, is when you press the save button after you've um, clicked on the hair and the eyes and the ears, and then you click save, you're clicking on the AV underscore picker underscore save movie clip, 
clicking on this movie clip and on press we're going to run this function and that is we set the hair, the head, the eyes, the ears, the mouth to the movie clip's current frame. So if it's on frame 1 it'll be set to 1. If it's on frame 2 then the hair will, then the hair will equal 2. Um, that kind of thing. And then we actually make change our avatar, change my avatar to that new setting. So when we click save it changes our avatar and it puts the information in some variables that we're going to send. There's the smart fox set user variables and this is where I um, instead of um, sending an extension to the uh, server I set a user variable and I put in all of those properties right there and this is where we probably want to do word wrap. So I'm going to wrap this column so you can see all of the code here. Word wrap and you can see here that I do a set user variables and then in here I've got curly braces within the parentheses and then I've got un colon the username th he and so we send all those things set the user variables and this set user variables um, call smartfox set user variables call will um, there's a response function above which uh, we looked at which was um, on user variables update I believe it was and that will be the response and let's see here if new user equals true we're gonna do an add record command else uh, update record and then I have the functions down below here for updating the record and we looked above here was adding the record right so if we're updating the record it's very similar we um, basically make an req object and we put in req.username equals the username req.hair equals the hair so on and so forth and then we send the extension message doing an update data instead of a get data we send the extension message update data right the previous one um, in the add record we smartfox send the extension message and this time it was an add data instead of a get data so there's the add data and this all happens when we click the save button when we click that save button to save our um, avatar uh, caricatures um, uh, the features when we save the features when we press the save button to save the features alright and then after that you'll see function close connection this is the end right here everything below is commented out that was the stuff I copied from the um, advanced database uh, flash file that I told you about in a previous video and that's it that's all of the code um, I'm gonna clean this code up a little bit and um, I'm gonna save uh, this FLA file and I'm going to save this server-side extension file, this .as file, action script file, database extension advance 2, and I'll save these files to dancecourses.com. If you'd like to go there, click on the multiplayer link, uh, the multiplayer class, uh, flash advanced multiplayer class, and you can, you'll be able to find um, a, a link so you can download these files if you want to, um, if you want a copy of this that you can check against your own code. Okay, thanks a lot for everybody for watching this long, long tutorial. Um, and if you'd like to, you can um, go to uh, dancecourses.com and create an account and you can check out this chat room live at dancecourses.com. But you have to have a user account, you have to log in and then go to the chat room and you can see the uh, finished chat room working uh, on my website.